Hello Martin. Hi Mark. And hello, welcome to In the Workshop with Mark Tunley, question and answers. Today is, well it's early April 2022 and Martin you have a question for me. I do. We have talked about rod actions. Yeah. Um, but we I'm talked about a lot actually. We did talk a lot about rod <laughs> actions and probably we could talk an awful lot more about rod actions. Yeah, yeah. But, but there's a burning question in my head and it's about around le leverage, leverage. 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 I'm sorry, I work for an American company. So it's, about, yeah. it's about leverage and how how a rod can help you to control or not control a fish. And talk about talk about leverage to me. Right. Okay. Right. I'm going to look at you, and I'm going to look at you because this is going to be a bit interesting, and you probably won't agree with me. All right. But the physics is true. Okay. A so-called soft rod is not soft on the fish. It's an illusion. It's a total and utter illusion. Okay? Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. The shorter and or, and or softer a rod, the, the less pressure it puts on you, but the more pressure it puts on the fish. Totally contrary to what people think. So if you... If you watch any YouTube video with any bloke talking about a rod while he's playing a fish, he will always say, oh, look at this lovely soft action, stops hook pulls, blah, blah, blah. It's total bollocks. Sorry, mate. It's total bollocks. The physics proves it. Okay? And it's just simple leverage. The longer a rod is, the harder it is on you and the softer it is on the fish. And the shorter the rod is, the softer it is on you and the harder it is on the fish for the same amount of pulling force that you put. So, say for instance you have a rod in your hand and you're pulling at X amount of pressure. If that rod is, say, a 10 foot rod and it has a very low resistance to bending, so it bends over easily, it becomes relatively this length. We'll call it 10 foot down to half, down to 5 foot length. You have a leverage against you of five feet for the same amount of pulling pressure. Okay? Yeah, I've got that in my head. That yep. can equate to an amount of pressure on the fish. If you then go to a 12 foot long rod that's diamond stiff and won't bend at all. So it is now 12 foot long. Okay? While you're pulling like crazy. You're pulling at the same pressure as you were with the other rod. But there's hardly any pressure on the fish. Because the leverage is against you and in the favour of the fish. And it's as simple as that. A longer lever okay, puts more pressure on you than a shorter lever. So it's the opposite end of the stick. Contrary to what every single rod reviewer and bloke says on YouTube, it's a total myth. It's the physics. Just ask a physicist. Ask anybody. Look it up anywhere. And it's just simple leverage. So... And I'm sure lots of people won't agree with me and say, no, no, but it is a total and utter illusion. Sorry to look at you guys instead of Martin, but it really is. If you just think about it, the softer it is on you, the harder it is on a fish. And if you think about commercial match rods, you want to have the shortest rod and the softest, the lowest resistance to bending rod you can have that will still cast the payload the required distance. So say, for instance, I'm fishing a, a very small commercial and I only need to put out a one ounce method feeder, 30 yards, absolute tops. I want to use the, in a competition, I want to use the shortest, most nines flexible. Nines and 10 foot rods, yeah. Yeah, nines yeah, and so 10 foot. Yeah. Shortest I can and the most flexible I can as well. So when I'm into that fish, it just bends straight around. I'm, I'm pretty much hand lining it in. It's all an illusion. You're, you, everybody's thinking, oh, look at that lovely bend. Look how soft it is because it's soft on you. So you automatically think it's soft on the fish and it's the total and utter opposite end of the stick. I'm sorry to get so animated, but I have been dealing this with this for 25 years and, I've, and I can count on one hand the amount of people who actually understand the physics. It's a bit like the act of a punch in the face. It's a bit of a weird one, but go with this. The act of a punch in the face feels very, very different if you're receiving the punch other than giving the punch, even though the act is the same. 
A punch in the face feels very different from being punched in the face from punching somebody in the face. Playing a fish is very different from the fish. If it's soft on you because you've got a low resistance to short rod with a low resistance to bending, so it's really bent round, feels beautifully soft on you and it's absolutely pulling their bloody lips off. Put in maximum pressure. So so taking that to... <laughs> it's you, crazy, you, isn't it? You talk about 9 and 10 foot, say, match type rods yeah. where you flick a little yeah. method feeder, maybe into the margins or on the far side of yeah. a little snake lake or something. Yeah. What, what would be optimal for that? Would it be 11 or 12 if you could get away with it? Would it be a longer rod? No. I mean, you actually want to put as much pressure on the fish as you can to, to pull it into the net. You know, that's the, that's the thing. It's just that the... The misunderstanding, everybody thinks that when you have a rod that feels soft to you, it's soft on the fish. And if you have a rod that feels really stiff and hard, it must be hard on the fish. And it's not. It's the other way around completely. It's the opposite end. Soft on you, it's absolutely hard on the fish. If it's hard on you, it's soft on the fish. So the longer and the stiffer the rod, the less pressure it puts on the fish for the same amount of pulling force from you. You can do the maths. You can literally work it out yourself. So if you want it, if you genuinely want it to be softer on the fish and pro and not promote hook pulls, yeah. say say small skimmers, for instance, yeah. then you would possibly err for a longer rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, the, there is one simple way of resolving all of this, and it's just set your bloody clutch. Even if you're a backwind guy, have your clutch set. So if you're fingered on the rotor. You can still cut, and all you've got to do is you've got to just pull the line and say, "That's the maximum pressure I want to put on that hook. Otherwise, I'm going to start tearing it out." And if it goes, it goes. That's it. Wow, leverage—the that... complete opposite end of the stick. That really now that's that's really interesting stuff, and I, I'm trying to. Sorry to get to... so animated, everybody, but, <laughs> but I tell you what, it's it's a little bit blown my mind because yeah. of I'm thinking of my own scenarios. But no, thank you. No, Mark. it is it is the illusion. It's the biggest illusion in fishing. If it's soft on you, it's hard on the fish. If it's hard on you, it's soft on the fish. It's the other way around. It's completely the opposite to what you think. And it was probably blown most people's minds. I'm sure you're shouting at the screen saying, "I've got to be wrong," and I wish I was, but I'm not. I'm not wrong. It is just physics. Strange. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Martin, and thanks for watching. And if you've liked this video, which is a weird one, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing and hit the all notification button or bell icon. Otherwise, you won't get notified when we upload a new video. So if you have been, thanks for watching.